guest we have with us tonight, the president and CEO of Kiljik Multimedia, a full-service production company with specialties in integrated branding and convergent media. He's doing all types of films, but more importantly, he's doing this incre- incredible anime called Beach Chronicles out of Miami. Kevin Sharpley, how are you? I am great. How are you? Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you, and thank you for being so patient and getting through the storm and all the things. Did you get much of it down in Miami? No, not this time, but I've had enough. (laughs) (laughs) I understand that concept. So, Kevin, tell us how you got into this. This is so exciting. I've been waiting for one of our children to get involved in anime. This is so powerful. (laughs) I really love it. Yeah. Um, Well, you know, uh, the Beach Chronicles, it marries two of my loves. Um, One of them is uh, the noir period, the film noir period. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite time periods. That's actually what drew me into filmmaking in the first place. Okay. And, um, you know, my love of science fiction. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this kind of marries uh, both of those things. And then, of course, you know, the animation part. Uh, I have have a genius creative creative director that... um, that is, uh, I think, one of the best artists around. So, you know, when we got together and we collaborated, um, we decided to go ahead and do a graphic novel. Okay. And take it a step so, further. So, well, 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 hold on a minute. Be- hold on a minute, because when you, I saw that in a lot of your documents, and I did not understand a graphic novel. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Um, a graphic novel is a, it's like a comic book. Um, with the exception of being uh, a little bit more serious, okay, and the, the graphics are uh, or the uh, the, the um, animation is a little bit more uh, realistic. Okay, so the Beach Chronicles is an animated graphic novel, so it's a moving graphic novel. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And you have some very interesting characters, and I love the fact that a lot of us don't really realize that, you know, when people use their voices, those voiceovers are from. Tell us about your stars. Yeah, um, we're really excited about uh, the, the voiceovers that we that we receive for the Beach Chronicles. Um, voiceover has become a really, really big thing. I mean, the celebrity voiceover on on um, a lot of the animations that have been coming out the past few years. Mm-hmm. So I kind of I wanted to tap people that I thought were uh, perfect for the characters. So um, with the Beach Chronicles, we uh, were able to get Daryl Hannah, who uh, was in one of my favorite. Um, movies of all time, Blade Runner, um, and then of course the Kill Bill series. Oh, so, okay. Uh, I loved Kill Bill. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she played a killer. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I doubt, yeah. but she was good. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were able to get uh, William Shatner. Mm-hmm. So you know he's in there. Um, we got a rising new star from one of my favorite shows, Boardwalk Empire. Uh, his name is Justin Davis. And we had Justin on a couple, about last month. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. So um, I was really happy, uh, you know, with being able to get Justin because I think he's going to be one of the, the biggest stars, you know, mm-hmm. in, the, in the next few years. And um, and I'm not saying this just because, you know, I've worked with him, but, you know, we may have a, a little young Denzel on our hands. Today. Oh, yeah. He's quite talented. Yeah. And he has a great spirit, too. And a great spirit, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that goes a long way. It goes a long way. Um, and I'm just going to name uh, kind of three more characters. Uh, we were able to get Jesse Johnson, who's Don Johnson's son, uh, to play the detective, who's the main character of uh, of, the, of the series. Don Johnson, who used to play um, the with the two guys. What yeah, is he, it? He played he played Cro- uh, Crockett. In oh, Miami, Miami Vice. Vice. Okay. Yeah. One of my favorites. One of our guests is sitting here trying to mouth it for me. My, I can't read <laughs> lips. Go ahead. Right. And then, you know, something that I'm really proud of is uh, we were able to get um, the son of a Marley and the son of a Beetle together. Oh, I love have. it. Can yeah. they sing? Um, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Um, Kamani, we don't have his music, but he did a voiceover, Kamani Marley. He okay. did a voiceover. And then James McCartney. He actually has music in there. He's an incredible, incredible musician. Mm. And he also did a voiceover. So they're in a scene together. They I play love it. Um, they play a team uh, there in the Beach Chronicles. So then the list goes on and on. Arlene Tour, who's from Miami, she's been in E Pray Love and a, and a bunch of stuff. I could just go on and on. But you also have Jimmy Jean Louis? 
Jimmy John Louis. Oh, I love him. <laughs> and he's so yeah. he promotes so much for Haiti and you guys are really involved in that. Yeah, I mean, you know, I have a couple of projects with Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Um but the Beach Chronicles, he was one of the first voices to come on board. And, it, it, you know, it's really great for us because, you know, he has a big sci-fi cred with uh, with the television show Heroes. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been Haitian on there for uh, a few years. Um, and then my company has another project called New Sauvé, which is a documentary about Haiti. Um, and, and Jimmy is the focal character in that one. So... Yeah he, yeah, he does a lot of work for and on behalf of Haiti. Now, you were in the Miami International Film Festival, mm-hmm. and great selection, and you got great reviews from what I understand. Yes, uh-huh. yeah, we're really excited about that. Um, and, of course, you know, for that festival, since it is a Miami festival, and the Beach Chronicles mm-hmm. is a Miami project. It's about the detective that lives and works on, on South Beach in Miami, the famous or infamous. <laughs> however you want to consider it, okay. uh, South Beach in Miami. Right. So, you know, we were really excited uh, when we found out that it was accepted into the festival. And, um, you know, we got a lot of great reviews, and, you know, we're really happy about that. And uh, we got a lot of um, a lot of positive remarks. Um, yeah. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of good press on that. But now here's the question, because I, I really want to see this. How do we now wh- – when are you moving this out? How do we get this out into the world for it to be seen? Because this is an area that I think a lot of our children – I'm here on a university campus – it, but we don't really understand how to enter into this world. But the next piece is the deployment of it. What, what right. can we do to make that happen so we can see it? Because now I want to see the film, for real. I mean, I like the little trailers you have on your website, uh-huh. but I want to see the film. Okay, so there's, there's two ways, of course. Uh, one way is, you know, you can go to our website, which is thebeachchronicles.com, and, and sign up there and, uh, you know, and see a lot of things, the things that are going on. And um, but a lot of people don't know when I, you know I've, I've been running my production company since 2000. So what you realize is you know you have a few things in the works, and you know one thing moves forward you know quicker than the other, and you know you you always have a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. Okay. So with the Beach Chronicles, um, we've partnered with uh, this incredible producer, um, and he has. Uh, a show on HBO. He has a show on NBC. He has a show on BET that's coming out pretty mm-hmm. soon. And so, you know, we've been going through the process of pouring through the material and uh, kind of pulling it together so that we can, you know, do the big pitches to your HBOs and your Showtime okay. and your stars and, and, and all those bigger networks. Okay. Um, yeah, and we have, and we have a, you know a great feeling that it'll be it'll be on the air by next year. Oh, I love it. So now this would be like a series. Yeah, it's series, like a 30-minute series. Okay, yeah. that would be on weekly or something. Yeah, a series I that would be it. on weekly. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's a lot of work. That behind-the-scenes stuff is a lot of work, you know, kind of pulling together all the material and, and you know, contextualizing it um, in a way where you can then, you know, bring it to the networks and, and um, you know, have them go for that material and, and – um, you know, be ready to put it on the air. So, mm-hmm. you know, we're confident we'll have we'll have it on the air next. How week. did you get into this? I mean, really, that's this just uh-huh. such a departure. Yeah, um, I actually started in front of the camera. Okay. <laughs> Believe it or not. So, you know, I started as an actor and model, and I, I traveled the world doing that. And um, I happened to take a class in film noir um, history, and it was a compare contrast with writing and and the films themselves i've been writing since i was seven so you know it was a great uh, class for me it actually gave me the opportunity to understand you know how the written word mm-hmm. could be translated on onto screen right and so maybe the second week in that class it, it, it was done for me i decided you know i'm going to become a filmmaker um i had one more semester in, in that particular school and then i enrolled in the university of miami the film school there and um, once I was there in the University of Miami, after about three months, I started my company. So um, that was really the way that, you know, I think everyone kind of has a different path. And, and it's a little bit different now because the tools are all there. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, the tools are all there um, for people that want to get into the industry. Going to film school is, is another tool because it, it informs you on, you know, a lot of the history that has happened in the industry and you know it gives you a little bit of a a, a push a different 
trying to push. But the tools are all there whether you go to film school or not. You know, you just have to educate yourself. And, um, you know, even down here, I could say down here in Miami, I run two organizations that do different things like panels, seminars, workshops. We just put a video out um, from a workshop that we did uh, last year with Gregory Allen Howard, um, the gentleman that wrote Remember the Titans, a mm-hmm. writing workshop. So, you know, you, you want to try to do those things. You know, you want, you want to try to catch, you know, when they have a, a workshop here, a workshop there, whether it's writing, acting, you know, directing, producing. And I'm a strong believer in um, no matter what area you decide to go in, you know, you should try to explore other areas and see what's going on in the other areas. Right. And that can only you have help. To be, you have to investigate the, your environment. Exactly. So mm-hmm. when are you going to come up here and conduct some of these workshops for some of these <laughs> folks up here that are, want to be into this? I mean, you know, we've, we're looking at the 21st century filmmaking, and it's changed. Right. The, the products, the machinery, the equipment, everything, mm-hmm. and how you deploy it is a lot different than what it was. Yeah, yeah, it, ha- it has changed a, a lot. You're, you're absolutely right. Um, definitely um, with my organ- organizations down here, our outlook was to create an organization or at least a base mm-hmm. for an organization that can then kind of expand nationally. Yes. Because, you know, for me, a, a big thing is, you know, trying to level the playing field and giving, you know, opportunities to, to everyone, mm-hmm. you know, whether you're in the industry, whether you want to be in the industry, or whether you have no inclination right. because you, you couldn't dream that you could even be in the industry. Right. So, you know, and, and that that's a big thing that I believe in overall. And I think there's something else, too, that people don't realize that, and now maybe I'm wrong, so you can correct me, feel free. But, you know, I, one of the things that I see that's missing <clears throat> in a lot of our children are not involved in the development and the design and the writing of uh, video games. The whole yeah. Xbox concept, which still has a film, television kind of vibe to it that we're not into. And with all this 3D and all this other capacity, it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I could really say that um, just o- overall, um, there needs to be more of a concerted effort towards, um, you know, more demographics becoming involved Mm -hmm. in in gaming, of course, you know, you have outlined within the Beach Chronicles is a multimedia project. So, you know, we have outlined to do the animated series. I wrote it first as a novel, you know, so Mm -hmm. we've been working on the book deal for the novel itself. Um, And then, you know, a live action television show and and feature film. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, you know, video games as well, you know, in this day and age, really, it's all about what's called transmedia, which is, you know, kind of telling your story across these multiple uh, platforms. Transmedia? Now, transmedia. That's mm-hmm. fascinating. That's the term. And you'll hear a, a lot more about it over the next, you know, couple of years. Okay. You know, it's going to become um, a regular term. Mm-hmm. But I, I can tell you, um, I really feel that, you know, there definitely needs to be more representation you know, from, from uh, many different demographics in terms of storytelling. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. Right. Whether whether it's, you know, a, a, a documentary, whether it's a narrative film, whether it's an animation, or whether it's a book, it's all storytelling. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, uh, experiences across the spectrum need to be represented. Um, and the way for that to happen is, of course, you know, writing, but we need more producers, we need more uh, directors, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, people above the line, uh, executives and, and, and the such. Right. You know, so. And I think and, that's a conversation that Meredith and, uh, and I were kind of exchanging in that email. That's going to mm-hmm. be another show. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be another gonna be show. show. That, that yeah, yeah it's going to be a whole. Yeah, it's, it is. It is because it's serious. I, that's a whole other conversation, but you're right on point. So, Kevin, how can we check out Beach Chronicles and all of the mm-hmm. other work that you're doing? Tell us again. Okay, so um, I'll give you two addresses you can go to. One is the Beach Chronicles a website, which is thebeachchronicles.com. That's mm-hmm. easy enough. And then you can go to my production company website, um, and my production company is called Kajik Multimedia. Now, where'd and you that, get the name of it? Oh, I'm sorry. Where is Kajik? Yes. Kajik. Kajik. Um, yeah, Kajik is a city in Alaska. It's um, it's a city where, you know, salmon still swim upstream to spawn their eggs. It's, you know, really pristine, um, a pristine city. So um, it really plays into the culture of my company, which is all about, um, you know, conservation, 
uh, social responsibility um, and, 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 and things like that. So ultimately, you know, all the projects that my company puts out, including the Beach Chronicles, are social projects. Okay. You know, whether yes. you see it at first or not. Right. Um, so the, the address for Kajik Multimedia is K I J, as in James, I K Multimedia.com. All right. So Kajik Multimedia. Kajik Multimedia.com. Thank you so much, Kevin Sharpley, for joining us. And we're going to have to connect offline and figure out how to get you up to Baltimore and <laughs> and have some of these workshops. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, that's that's what I'm all about. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Take care. Okay. We'll be looking for the Chronicles.